Anna is with us in Miami, Florida. Hey, Anna, how are you? Hi, Dave. I'm good. How are you? Better than I deserve. What's up in your world? Um, okay, so in October, my husband and I were in a car accident. Everybody's fine, and the insurance paid for all the repairs. But uh, we, we rear-ended someone, and we were at fault, and we just received the notification that we might be getting sued because we were underinsured. Um, so we were in baby step two, and we were scheduled to be out of baby step two to this month, at the end of the month. We have about, we have the last $3,000 that we're going to send to the, the car payment. And we're so your, your, your car insurance was not enough to cover the other people's car or medical bills? Medical bills, apparently. It looks like it's one of those lawyers that just tried to get more money. Mm -hmm. um, and we were very underinsured. And uh, we went to Financial Peace University, and we knew better. And it was just kind of, we didn't take care of it on okay. time. All right. And so what do, what is the amount that, the, that you think you're facing? I am not sure at all. Our insurance is going to cover up to... 15,000, which was our max. Mm -hmm. And um, does that include the that replacement of their car or is that medical? Just not. The, well, this is for the bodily injury. Um, right. The bodily injury was 50K. Medical. Okay. That's what I'm checking. All right. right. And so above yeah. 50K, was this a really bad wreck? It, it was not at all. Um, so they, why do you, do you think the person was, was hurt that badly or do you think this is not a scam? All. Not at all. I think it's a. It, they're trying to just scam. I guess. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Here's what I would do then. Um, as you finish up baby step two, you're going to finish up when? Well, we were scheduled to to finish up this month, so Good. we have Good. the money to send it to the. Great. The last payment. Great. Then what I'm going to do is just pile up my emergency fund as fast as I possibly can. You may be facing the emergency of hiring an attorney, but my guess is. Okay. Um, that it, based on what you're saying, if this is what if it, if it comes down to the fact these people are just trying to get money, you don't have any money. Uh, they're just checking to see if if you've got money piled up over there in a corner that they can grab from you. Once they realize there's not any to get, number one, number two, they realize you're going to fight back. That is your best defense now, and so you're going to hire an attorney. Okay, I uh, spoke to an attorney, um, not to hire, but just for advice. Mm -hmm. We've never faced anything like this. And they mentioned that even though we don't have a lot of assets, uh, we, we make about 140 They can come after 35. your income, but that's the, not the point. The right. point is you're going to use your income to hire an attorney to not give these people money that they are not due if they're trying to scam you. Got it. In other words, I'm going to fight. Now, if they legitimately are hurt, you should want to do something to try to fix them. It's your fault, right? Um, right but right, but, right. but if they're just after some money, they think there's money on the table here, you know, they're walking around wearing a neck brace and they're not hurt, then that's, you know, that kind of stuff. And I don't know what's going on, but that's what your suspicion is, that, that yeah. 50000 should have covered this wreck, the medical on this wreck, and, you know... Um, a, would a, if a reasonable person sat down at your kitchen table and showed you that there were, you know, uh, $57,000 worth of medical bills, you'd probably write them a check for seven if you had it or do it shortly, you know, and uh, but but and you looked at the bills and you went, yeah, that that's I get that. OK, but if they're just saying, hey, I think I, I'm going to hire an ambulance chasing attorney and uh, go after these people, then what I'm going to do there is I'm going to hit them hard, fast and often in the mouth. And I'm going to hire an attorney that's so mean, I don't even like him. Right, right. I heard that. Um, okay, so we do go ahead and pay off the car. That's what yeah, yeah. I mean, you're there. You're there this month. Finish it off. Now right. you use your income and very quickly build your emergency fund. And I don't mind if it even gets a little bit larger, not to give them a target to shoot at, but for you to hire an attorney with. Okay, so another quick question, if you don't mind. Um, we did our taxes, and uh, we were about we were about to pay. We were, had to pay about three thousand dollars, and then uh, the tax our tax person they recommended us to put uh, to max out our IRAs. Um, no, no, you don't need your tax April. person deciding what you're going to do. You know what you're supposed to do. 
you're not ready to right. max out IRAs. You don't have your emergency fund built and you're facing a lawsuit. Okay. You don't max out yeah. your IRAs That's in that situation. You need a pile of cash right now. You need a war chest because we're getting ready to go okay. to war. That's what it sounds like to me. That's the way you're describing this. If it's something different than that, then it's something different than that. But that's based on what you told me.